Good morning. Uh, first, I would like to thank Sages for the opportunity uh, to present our work today. Uh, the presentation today is about uh, It's um, uh, a comparison, a comprehensive cost analysis comparison between a robotic assisted approach and uh, a laparoscopic approach for unilateral inguinal hernia repair. I have nothing to disclose. So robotic assisted surgery uh, has gained a lot of enthusiasm and popularity since uh, its introduction. And the number of uh, uh, robotic assisted procedures is uh, rapidly increasing over the years, especially in the general surgery field. However, the cost effectiveness of uh, robotic assisted surgery is still, is still debatable. Uh, while it shows uh, significant or better significant uh, outcomes in certain procedures that could justify the higher cost uh, uh, for example, in uh, uh, radical prostatectomy and uh, uh, endometrial cancer, it still uh, didn't show the same cost effectiveness in many general surgery procedures. Uh, inguinal hernia repair is one of the, is a prominent example for this uh, debate, and it is one of the most common general surgery procedure done in the United States and uh, around the world. And the number of the robotic assisted approaches is uh, exponentially increasing, but without no clear advantage of the robotic assisted approach when compared to laparoscopic approach. So our aim was to do a comprehensive cost analysis for the two approaches uh, and to compare uh, between the two approaches to evaluate their cost effectiveness. The study was done in uh, 32 hospital uh, in a single healthcare system in the Western United States. We uh, choose to include only elective unilateral inguinal hernia repairs. Just try to decrease as much as we can the variables that could affect our results, such as concurrent procedures, unilateral, I mean bilateral hernias, or emergent cases. The study was done between January 2015 and March 2017. And our outcome measures were the cost, the operative times, length of stay, and conversion to open. Our cost calculation methodology, uh, we uh, calculated the direct cost, which is the resources used to perform the procedure for uh, every single patient. The categories were device cost per procedure, which was calculated using the initial acquisition price and the maintenance fees uh, uh, through the useful life of the device divided by the utilization. The second category was the personnel cost, which was calculated using all the paid wages for uh, the personnel who directly dealt with the patient. And the variable cost included consumables and reusables cost combined. So here is the diagram, the total cost included the fixed cost and variable cost. Fixed cost included medical device and personnel cost, and the variable cost included consumables and reusables. The study showed uh, the cohort was 2,405 cases, 1,671 laparoscopic approaches or cases, robotic assisted were 734 uh, cases. 88% were primary in the laparoscopic approach and 12% were recurrent, while 86% were primary in the robotic assisted group and 14% were recurrent. When we analyzed the data, we found that the length of stay and the conversion to open were similar between the two groups, but the average uh, operative room time was significantly longer in the robotic assisted approach. The average total cost for the robotic assisted procedures per one procedure was around uh, $5,517 with a standard deviation of $1,016. The average total cost for the laparoscopic approach was $3,269 with a standard deviation of $1,167. Further analysis of the cost showed that 
the variable cost in the laparoscopic group was significantly higher. And this may be uh, attributable to uh, using of disposable trocars instead of uh, reusable trocars in the robotic assisted approaches, uh, using balloon dissectors and tackers for, for mesh fixation. But the device cost for the uh, robotic assisted approach per case was significantly higher when compared to the laparoscopic approach, almost $1,100 difference for every single case. And also the personnel cost was significantly higher in the robotic assisted approach. And actually the personnel cost was a translation of the longer operative times in the uh, robotic assisted approach. Here's the analysis for the uh, average operative times comparing the two approaches. Uh, it's significantly longer in room time, cut to close, and the post anesthesia care unit time uh, for the robotic assisted approach. And to make sure that this wasn't a product of learning curve of the surgeon, so we uh, choose to do a comparison between the top five surgeons with the highest number of procedures between the two groups, and the result is still uh, the same. The uh, operative times is still significantly longer in the robotic assisted approach. The average uh, or the, the, the case number of robotic assisted procedures uh, ranged from 42 cases to 118, and in the laparoscopic group uh, ranged from 67 to 188 cases per surgeon. So in, in summary, the average total cost difference between the two uh, approaches were around $2,200. And we performed uh, 734 uh, procedures over a period of 26 months. So the healthcare system you know, if they elected to repair their inguinal hernias uh, uh, laparoscopically instead of using the robot, we could have saved $1.6 million over 26 months period. So in conclusion, we tried in the study to cover all the cost aspects, not only the variable cost, but only the fixed cost, which is the uh, medical device and the personnel cost. The device cost and longer operative times drive the cost difference between the two approaches. Final conclusion, robotic assisted inguinal hernia repair is not cost effective when compared to a laparoscopic approach. Thank you.